Did he tell you where Natalie's remains were? He never told me like this is exactly it. He told me that if we were ever to be in Aruba and went in the National Forest, he would be able to find them. But he also did tell me, your aunt taught him to never be honest, never tell the truth, always, always lie. So I feel like everything that ever came out of his mouth is a lie. I don't know if he honestly was a part of it. Maybe your aunt told him what he did, and that's where the sick stories come from. I honestly don't know. He literally was delusional. Do you believe he helped your aunt or not? I did at first. He had so many stories, you know, all the stuff about crushing her skull and he just said and did sick things. He thought it was funny that you're on date raped girls and he just thought sick stuff like that was funny. I just don't know, I did. And then when he said, you know, always lie, always lie. I wasn't a part of it, always lie. Like, cause his name started getting out there and he just didn't want the publicity. So I just don't know, I just don't know. Well, this is a transcript of T.J. Ward, a private investigator talking to John. Where did you take her remains, John? to my property, T.J. Ward, to your aunt's house, John. Originally, we had discussed bedding it cremated, but at the time, it was legal, but apparently some places would do it for pets. T.J. Ward, and what did you do, John? The idea was to crush everything to the point where it wasn't recognizable as her bones or skull or anything like that. T.J. Ward, did you do something to the remains before you broke them up, or did you do something with the remains after you broke them up? Did you burn them? John, the only thing that got burned was the skull to burn the hair fibers. It was doused in gasoline in a fire pit in a cave. Had he told you that? Yeah, he said that where they did it was in a cave. I didn't know it was, if it was on his aunt's property, yeah. but he's always said it was in a cave. Was it funny to him or was it just to impress you? I guess it depends what kind of mood or what kind of drugs he was on that day. Jo John used drugs heavily. I think that he thought it was all funny, the date raping of the girls. But I just felt like it was all so fake and such a lie. Did he break into your car at one point? Yes. And did what? Um, well, there's times he, he was definitely stalking me. I mean, how did he know I got home at 6.30 every morning? Uh -huh. How did he know that day that I did? There was a time he broke into my car and stole documents I had from the hospital. And just anything he could, any evidence that I, Emily gave this to me and we're together, he would, I mean, that's the only thing that he was ever able to get out of my car that was like mm -hmm. a big deal. But um, otherwise there was one time that I was driving and he got in and he tried to grab my phone from me. and. It was when I had just met my boyfriend and I posted a picture of us on Facebook and he wanted my phone and he said he deserves to know who he is and he's going to kill him and he needed his name and it was in a public parking lot, thank God, and instead of just sitting in the car and trying to fight with him, I ran inside and that's why I really was telling him, like, John, I'm going to get the police involved. Okay. He contacted me on my way to work. I told my manager, like, after this, I'm going to get a police report and I, I bartend. I work late. I didn't get off to, like... 2.33 in the morning, so I just didn't think about it after work, um, and it was the next morning that happened.